Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a video or movie out of student work in Pixie 2 or Wixi. And what I've done here is I've opened up all of the pages of the student's work and here you can see I can click over and I have actually 11 pages. So once all of the work is open you're going to come up and you'll click share. When I click to share now I get a thumbnail view of all of my images. Now one thing that's nice about this is if I find that an image is out of order, I can simply drag and drop, put it in the correct order, and then I'm ready to move on. Now once they're done with that, they're going to come over to the right side of the screen and you have your timing section. Now the nice thing with this is since they've recorded their voice on each of their slides, that the timing is going to be set by their voice. Then they're going to choose the transition that they, that they would like and then click create. Now you could add background sound but we're not going to do that with this one since they've recorded their voiceover. We'll click create. We're going to choose presentation and then give it a name and choose a, loca a destination. So I choose to put it on my desktop and then I'll click save. Now I've already created this. Um, it takes a few minutes to go through and uh, create the actual document. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and I'll show you once all said and done you get a .mov file that can be used by your students. Wixie is somewhat similar. You have all of your pages inside of one document where Pixie 2 has several documents that you have to combine together. So the student will then come down and click on the thumbnail view here Once they get their thumbnail view, you're going to go through basically the same process. They can drag and drop their images to get them in the correct order. They can choose the timing. So again, advance automatically once to, you want that on so that way it advances after the voice recording. Choose their transition. And again, I'm going to skip creating a sound only because we don't need that since they're recording. The next step is going to be click send. And we're going to export it as a flash file. Now when you export it as a flash file, it, it will give you an option once it finishes writing the file to have an HTML file document created. You do want to have this so that you can view the flash document in a browser. And then you would just click export. Now I've also already done that. So I'm going to cancel that and come back to my desktop. And you can see I have a zip file right here that's created. Then I have my file folder. So once I'm done, if I double click on the document, the HTML document, it will open it in a browser and we will get the actual Pandora's box, what really happened? Epimetheus spills the beans by Mr. So that is how you create a movie file for your students' work that can be shared either in your hand in or hand out hand in folder or it can actually be shared as a link on your Google Classroom.